Hi dear friends, welcome back to Curious Food. I am Dr. Mausina. Today we will discuss about a bacterial disease condition in chickens. It is caused by AV bacterium paragalnarum, formerly known as Haemophilus paragalnarum. So this disease is also known as Haemophilosis. So let's begin today's topic, Infectious Coryza or Haemophilosis in chickens. Infectious Coryza or Haemophilosis is an acute respiratory disease of chickens. The disease is characterized by decreased activity, nasal discharge, sneezing and facial swelling that occurs worldwide. The disease apparently affects only chickens. Reports in quail and pheasants likely describe a similar disease but caused by a different bacterium. You can see a picture of a uh, chicken affected with uh, infectious coryza here. In countries such as the US, the disease is seen primarily in pullets and laying hens and occasionally in broilers. And it is most prevalent in commercial flocks in California and southeastern states, although flocks in the northeast have experienced notable outbreaks. Now let's see the etiology of uh, infectious coryza. The causative organism is AV bacterium paragalnarum or Haemophilus paragalnarum. It is a fragile gram-negative road and it needs a carrier, uh, carrier bird. Uh, to be transmitted under field conditions. So the carriers are usually older, previously infected and recovered birds. Now we will see a photomicrograph of the bacteria, AV bacterium paragallano after culture of a sample on blood other. So this uh, bacteria is a gram-negative, pleomorphic, non-motile, catalyzed negative, microaerophilic road. And here comes another picture of uh, satellite colonies of uh, AV bacterium paragalnarum after culture on blood agar. It is cultured with a staphylococcal nurse colony that excretes V factor which is uh, needed for the uh, this bacteria to grow. And the satellite colonies of AV bacterium appears as dew, dew drop shape growing adjacent to the nurse colony. Now let's see the epidemiology and transmission of infectious coryza. Chronically ill or healthy uh, carrier birds are the reservoir of infection for AV bacterium paragalnarum. Chickens of all ages are susceptible. However, susceptibility increases with age. The incubation period is 1 to 3 days with a typical disease duration of 2 to 3 weeks. Has short incubation period, therefore it spreads rapidly through the flock. And duration of illness may be longer in the presence of concurrent diseases such as mycoplasmosis. So this disease have a very short incubation period of 1 to 3 days. Rapidly transmitted from bird to bird by contact. Oclonasal uh, secretions, aerosolized cuff droplets, or contaminated feed and drinking water. So, the disease has very short incubation period and it spreads very rapidly. Organism survives only for short periods in the environment can be costly in started bullets with a cull rate as high as 20 percentage in many farms and this disease uh, does not affect uh, turkeys but there is another disease in turkeys called turkey coryza also known as bordetellosis it is a highly contagious upper respiratory tract disease caused by bordetella avium that we will discuss in another video later now let's see the clinical findings of infectious coryza in chickens. In the mildest form of infectious coryza, only signs may be listlessness, a serous nasal discharge and occasionally slight facial swelling. You can see the picture of slight facial swelling in a chicken here. But with increased severity, there can be extreme swelling of one or both infraorbital sinuses with edema of the surrounding tissues may uh, prevent the eyes from fully opening and in adult birds especially males edema may extend to the intermandibular space and vitals 
and the swelling usually abates in 10 to 14 days however if secondary infection occurs this swelling can persist for even for months so if it, uh, there will be the uh, most important clinical sign in the increase uh, in the severe condition is extreme swelling of one or both infraorbital sinuses So this is a uh, facial swelling caused by infectious coryza in, uh, in a hen. You can see a periorbital edema here and swollen infraorbital sinuses and nasal exudates. So the periorbital edema prevent the eyes from fully opening. This is another picture of uh, the chicken affected with infectious coryza you can see the closed eyes here and the infraorbital swelling there may be varying degrees of rails depending on the extent of infection in argentina a form of the disease involving bacteremia has been reported likely due to concurrent infections egg production may be delayed in young pullets and severely reduced in producing hens Affected birds may have diarrhea and feed and water consumption is usually decreased during acute stages of the disease. So in, uh, uh, in laying hens, the egg production is severely reduced and in young pullets, egg production is delayed. Now let's see the lesions. In acute cases, only the infraorbital sinuses may be involved and contain copious grayish semi-fluid exudates evident on gross inspection and during histopathologic examination with increased chronicity the exudate may become consolidated the histopathologic features include edema hyperplasia and erosion of respiratory mucosal and glandular epithelia and edema with infiltration of heterophils macrophages and mast cells. Now we will see a picture of histopathology here. This the, these are the histopathology features of infectious coryza. It is a section of nasal tissue from a chicken infected with a V. bacterium paragalinarum, illustrating swollen infraorbital sinuses, periorbital edema, and nasal discharge. Other lesions may include conjunctivitis, tracheitis, bronchitis, and air sacculitis, but these lesions are seen particularly if other pathogens are involved or there is another uh, bacterial infections along with AV bacterium paragalinarum. Moving on to the diagnosis of infectious coryza. <coughs> diagnosis is by bacterial culture or PCR assay. So we have seen already the pictures of the colonies and uh, the stained picture here, the picture before. So the bacteria is gram negative, uh, satellitic, catalyzed negative organism from chicken in a flock with a history of rapidly spreading respiratory tract infection and especially with swollen infraorbital sinus. A catalyzed specific test is essential as non-pathogenic hemophilic organisms which are catalyzed positive are present in both healthy and diseased chickens. PCR tests of live flocks as they have been reported to provide more accurate results compared to the bacterial culture. So a catalyzed specific test is used and more, uh, more specific is a PCR test compared to the bacterial culture. Then important differential diagnoses are foul cholera, mycoplasmosis, infectious laryngotracheitis, Newcastle disease, infectious bronchitis, avian influenza and swollen head syndrome or ornithobacteriosis. What is the treatment of infectious coryza? 
prompt antimicrobial treatment with supportive care of infected birds to aid recovery because early treatment is important immediate ad administration of medication via drinking water is recommended until medicated fee feed is available so until medicated feed feed is available immediate administration of medication via drinking water is recommended erythromycin and otc are usually effective fluoroquinolones and macrolides are active against infectious coryza also various sulfonamides including trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole and other drug combinations have been successful coming to the prevention and control best control is all in all out management to break the cycle of transmission and after an outbreak depopulate the entire flock to start again in order to eradicate the organism because once the disease occurs it is having a very short incubation period and it spreads very fast one can also vaccinate with a commercial bacterin or, or multi age farms and vaccination of individual farms should be completed approximately 4 weeks before infectious coryza outbreak typically occur so before uh, finishing we will see the key points once again infectious coryza is a rapidly spreading and debilitating upper respiratory tract infection and it occurs primarily in laying chickens and it causes distinctive fowl odor with swelling of infrabital sinuses and edema of face it is uh, eliminated mainly by good management practices especially all in all out programs the disease is caused by av bacterium paragalnerum or haemophilus paragalnerum and it is having a very short incubation period and chronically sick birds or subclinical carrier birds are the main source of infection sometimes the culling rate can go up to 20 percentage in starter pullets the disease that does not occur in turkeys but turkeys have another disease called turkey coryza caused by bordetella avium then uh, because of the short incubation period the disease spreads rapidly throughout the flock so transmission in, is mainly by bird to bird contact oculonasal secretions aerosolized cough droplets and contaminated feed or water the clinical signs are commonly reduced egg production reduced feed consumption oculonasal discharge and edema of face and eyelids gross lesions can be infrabital sinuses filled with yellow or cheesy exudate unilateral or bilateral eyelids may be swollen or adhered uh, shut by exudate facial edema and swelling and we can diagnose with gross lesions bacterial culture and pcr test and prevention is the best method and the best control is by all in all out management and after an outbreak depopulate to start the flock again So that's all about infectious coryza and chickens. If the video is informative and useful, please like it and comment your suggestions. Share it with your friends. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a video. I will be uploading another video soon. So see uh, see you. Bye.